Hi, Scott. Hello, my boy. How are you? Nothing broken, I hope. You said you lost something? Uh, I mentioned one thing. Oh, I am sorry. In fact, it's about a friend. Charles? You remember Charles? No, you can't remember him. Silly <laughs> me, you never met him. Anyway, Charles is a friend. A scientist co-worker. He was way more successful than I, I must say. So, he's a friend, and I lost him. It looks like he disappeared, and I am a bit worried. I know that he was doing some sensitive research. Important. Maybe he ran into problems because of that. Anyhow, it's hard to tell. How do you want me to find him? He has an assistant. Very nice. She used to make delicious pastries. Unless I'm mixing her up with someone else. Anyway, he had an assistant. I'm pretty sure of it. I'll go find her. She must know what happened to him. And if she does, it'll turn out the professor is just at a conference somewhere. Maybe. It's true I don't get invited to conferences as often as I used to. It's rather unfair. I used to love the cocktails they serve. Hey there, I'm looking for Charles Seeker. You know where I could find him? Hmm, and you are? Zachariah Manser. Professor and I have a mutual friend who's worried about him. I know the feeling. Haven't seen him for days. I'm Veronica Seeker, the professor's assistant. I got a message informing me he had taken an impromptu vacation, but it's not like him. He didn't even like to sleep, said it just wasted time. Even more than likely in the middle of the research he was doing. Yeah, seems a bit off, doesn't it? The professor was supposed to start some research with a friend of mine as well. I'm sure he'd already started work on it before leaving. You know anything about it? Of course. I was involved with the professor's research, though I shouldn't discuss it with anyone without his consent. But with that last name Manser, I suppose this technomancy research is of particular interest to you. Otherwise, most people barely bat an eye towards the scientific aspects of Technomancer powers. If you're concerned that the message wasn't really from the Professor, did you report his disappearance? To the authorities? Of course not. The authorities, Mr. Manser, have far more pertinent issues than this, which I'm sure will work itself out in time. Now, if you'll excuse me... Trust me, I get why you're reluctant to talk. I do. Times like these don't exactly instill openness. But my friend's a very close friend of the professor, and neither of us are the betraying type, you know? To be honest, you look like you got some worries on your mind, too. Could I'll use a few more people to confide in. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I can tell you some things. I'm afraid the professor's vocal railings against the ASC and their ceaseless power grabs might have finally come back to bite him. He would even preach to his colleagues and the listeners at conferences. I would give anything to be wrong, of course, but hope is oftentimes incongruous with the reality we must come to face. That's one good-looking woman. Too bad she's only got eyes for her professor. The poor girl seems so sad. <sighs> Lieutenant, why are we investigating the professor's disappearance? The captain never discussed it. It's not our order. I've been working on something that'll help us in the long run. Something really important. I don't know how it's connected to this, but it is. You're gonna have to trust me. Oh, I get it. You just want to solve a case on your own. I got your back, Lieutenant. Hi, Scott. Hello, my boy. I'm sorry, Scott. You were right to worry about your friend. According to his assistant, it seems that he had problems. He was quite critical of the corporation. And you know how dangerous it's been lately. How crazy. How crazy he was. He should have just stuck to his research. How foolish to meddle with politics. He was a very good researcher, you know? He made real progress on the settlers' genetic origins. How sad. 
And that poor woman who must be worried sick. Listen, I thought... Anyway, maybe you could... What's going on? I know that I'm asking a lot from you, but I was wondering if maybe... You could continue to investigate. You are someone important now. You know a lot of people. They can tell you if Veronica's suspicions are justified. I can probably talk about it with my captain, or tap into some contacts in the know. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. I want to be sure, you see. I think that you need to recover his latest research. I strongly believe that. Besides what he said, he found something dangerous. The ASC. They're thugs. We must not allow sensitive scientific research to fall into their hands. The risks are too high. I'll see what I can do, but I doubt that Veronica will give me Charles' documents willingly. She's very protective of her boss's work. It's an official mission? It isn't, is it? What are we gonna do if we come under attack? Then we'll defend ourselves. Look, I know Anton Rogue's not the kind of guy to hang out with, but he's the guy to come to if you want to know anything about anything going on. And I need to know something. All right, whatever you say, Lieutenant, I'm behind you. Anything goes down, I got your back. Sorry, pal. Nobody enters this office if they got no pass. That right, pal? I'm an officer, and a technomancer, and I'm here to see Anton Rogue. Think you should let me in. You even know who Anton Rogue is? He's the big fucking balls here. The boss. I don't care if you're a damn general. Get the hell out of here! What else? Show it to me. Alright, fine. You can come in even though you're dressed like... You stole it from one of our guys. Look what the cat dragged in. The prodigal son. A diamond in the rough risen from poor street trash to the godlike ranks of Technomancer. Now tell me, why am I so lucky to be in your presence? Professor Charles Seeker. I'm looking for what happened to him. What can you tell me? The dangers of having a mind of using it, and especially of speaking it, I'm afraid. His research and political opinions push the line, and patience of some. Funny how smart and wise don't always go hand in hand. That said, word is he boarded a train. Not so much a pleasure trip, more like a forced hiatus given the military escort and the colonel's re-education camp he was bound for. No matter the power of the mind, the power of a gun always seems to gain the upper hand in the end, don't you think? I gotta go. Then go.
Veronica, I need a favor. I'm looking for access to the professor's compiled research documents. Might be a big help to me. It's just not my work to share, Zachariah. If he came back, I don't think he'd be too pleased to find out I handed it away. You ever find out what happened to him? Well, from what I could gather, he was arrested and thrown into the correctional camp. Apparently his criticism of the government was more important to them than his work. The times we live in, I guess. I don't even know what to... Such a loss. A waste. Maybe his work shouldn't be abandoned. If he's not coming back anytime soon, or at all, then you can do good with it. Hi, Scott. Hello, my boy. How are you? Nothing broken, I hope. Unfortunately, I've received confirmation of what Veronica suspected. Charles was arrested and deported to a camp as a punishment for his comments. I'm sorry, Scott. I did bring back his research, though, since you wanted it. Thank you, Zachariah. A camp? How awful. But what is happening to our dear abundance? We won't beat Aurora if we get rid of our scientists. Anyway, I'll take a look at these documents. No doubt our dear Charles was worried. They're coded. It's funny, it reminds me of the code we used as students, so that the professors wouldn't know about our adventures. All oh, this is a little far away. I'm gonna have to think about it. Thank you, Zach. Thanks again.